Rum, rum, sweet rum. When I call you, you're bound to come. Yes, rum, rum, sweet rum. When I call you, you're bound to come. You was made from Carony Cane, and they bring you to Port of Spain. I'm going to send me scorpion to bite your centipede, Santi Manite. <laughs> The carnival in Trinidad is mask playing. To ensure that this celebration is unlike any other, the island calls on the art of magicians. They know how to give the crowd another story, the one told by the masks. One of the greatest designers for these very eerie parades is Peter Minchel. The playing of the mask is can be a very sacred thing. The playing of the mass, quite apart from myself as an artist, the playing of the mass has to do with being, the true playing of the mass, that is, as I see it, is literally being other than yourself. To play a, there's an old expression, mass, mass, I know you which obviously means you look at the person with... To play mask means to put the mask on and to play the king, the queen, the devil, the clown, the midnight robber. In the old days, too, the surreal quality of... the sun, these Caribbean greens, the palm trees, and in the midst of it, a golden coach drawn by horses and a black Queen Elizabeth with a bright head of orange hair in all her robes stepping from the coach and the, the serious enactment of the mind. There was also an attitude. It, there, was, there was a pomp and a ceremony which in recent years has given away from my point of view and there are many other points of view to a kind of trite and trivialness I fight against that. Mass is essentially performance art. And as, as with all theatre, as with all ritual, there is the spectator and the performer. People in other places pay their money to see others perform. Here, people actually pay their money to perform. My work cannot happen but by the people's permission. And it's like music. I, I write the notes on the paper and the tribe gives, gives it voice. I, I put whatever creativity I can muster into it and then they bring it to life. There we have the noble Sabi. Peter Minshall is an Englishman from Trinidad. After studying art in London and starting off a career as a theatre decorator in the United States, he came back to his island, back to the carnival. In Port of Spain, there are some 20 others like him, designing costumes and directing masked troops. They have each selected a theme they hope will win over the public and the jury. 150,000 people will parade over the three days. All that I know about the carnival, I learned. From childhood onwards, right here. One of those early lessons was in a kai so, oh, at least 50 or 60 years old, just a popular, traditional, Calypso chant that's so simple and so powerful and so 
I dare say, Shakespearean in its, in its final two lines. And it goes, rum, rum, sweet rum, when I call you, you're bound to come. Yes, rum, rum, sweet rum, when I call you, you're bound to come. You was made from Carony Cane, and they bring you to Port of Spain. Are going to send me scorpion to bite your centipede, Santi Manite. And the Santi Manite is, of course, derived from the French sans humanité, which is without humanity, without mercy, without love, without pity. I reinspect this little song, and I'm just I, I, I'm, I'm amazed at the power and the strength and the the frighteningness of those lines. I am going to send my scorpion to bite your centipede. Santimanite. I design the mass for Sam. Equally, Sam plays the mass for Minshall. There are a few people who have the power and grace of playing the mask that Peter Samuels has. Peter Samuel, the living scorpion designed by Minchel, will be crowned king of the carnival. The celebration in Trinidad has always been fueled by competition. Over the years, there have been more and more contests. Now there are elections for the queen of the carnival, the best costume band, the most creative designer, and the most beautiful music. The Calypso Kings take the stage one after the other. Calypso was once sung by slaves. Now it has become a national blend in which Indians, Chinese, Syrians all have their say. Just like the steel band. They took oil drums, turned them into instruments and invented a new brand of music. My respect for the culture and for the mass, I mean, the, the pan, the calypsos, my own, my own work is in the mass, my respect for it, comes out of a feeling that, as with all arts, it can speak universally. And it, it is not necessarily about flowers and butterflies and, and the pretty pretty. It can address, as it has in fact always done, serious issues. It has always dealt with good and evil. There have always been clowns and devils. It has always been about, as all art is, life and death. That's the way he wanted it. Terrifying. The most terrifying ever imagined. Ants with a human face, scorpions clashing with centipedes. The bodies are beautiful, but awesome limbs are attached to them. This is struggle and death. That's the heart of the celebration. This is Peter Minshall's carnival in Trinidad. I was... in awe on the carnival Monday night. 
It was an act of faith on my part. I spent everything. Spirit, physical energy, money. This very tired person on that night was moved to tears that the mask was being played. In these times, I do not think we um, should be afraid of facing truths. As a matter of fact, I think more than ever we must. And I make no apology at all, quite the contrary, in addressing the theme of Santimanity in a public popular art form there is no better place to address the terror of the 20th century